Hey, what's up guys? So, welcome back to a new video. Before the video starts, I just want to give a big thanks to Wesley Andy. He was the first donator ever. He said he would donate and he actually did. Um, I've contacted him. He left me a message. We added each other on Skype. He's going to get the donation privileges. He's going to get all the models, the complete project and everything. So, a big thanks to him for supporting me and letting me, helping me do what I want to do and entertain you guys. Um, if you guys want to donate, there's a link in the description for the paypal.me. Um, no amount is required. I mean, a, amount, an amount is required, but there's no set amount. You can donate all the way from $1 to however much dollars you want. And um, it helps me out. It gives you guys privileges and the new things. And uh, you get to, I guess, talk to me on Skype. Um, message me if you have a problem. Ask me anything. I'll even send you the complete project, etc. So, um... If you guys want that, the link is in the description. So enough about that. Let's start the video. Um, in this video, we're gonna add some new functionality. We're gonna add a money system. I've already made a video about a money system, so I'm gonna use literally the same script. But you can find the script on my GitHub page. Oh, sorry, Steam is up. Um, I'm gonna have the um, thing on my GitHub page and on the like adventure game tutorial series github page so you can download it from the both ones but if you want an in-depth tutorial and um, me explaining the script the currency script that we're using check out the currency the money system part one video the link will be in the description but for now i'm just going to explain the pickup part so we have two scripts i'm going to explain the script first and then i'm going to um, do the thing that you need to do for to make it work Basically, you have an animator. Uh, the, let me just um, show you the way it's going to work. So basically, when your character walks up to this, um, for example, a money bag is over here. When your character walks up to it, when you click the E button, he's going to bend down. He's going to pick it up. The money is going to disappear, the object, and um, an amount is going to be added to your uh, gold value that we have stored in the currency system. We're going to have the currency system on a global event system um, game object that if you do not have in your scene you can create one I'm just gonna delete this one forgot to delete it and um, basically that global variable is gonna store your currency and other things that we're gonna add later on so um, let's start with the script so the pickup script we have an animator anim which is going to um, get the reference of the players animator so we can uh, trigger the pickup animation we have a public bool money and a public bool item basically these one when we add item functionality when we add an inventory and you actually picking up items um for example armor pieces equipping them and then quests if you need to like uh, get an item and uh, give it to someone we're gonna add that functionality then for now i just added the bool so you know what the, what's gonna come but basically um you you can make whatever you want if you have for example money uh items um like um, like special points or things that you can pick up as well you can add another bool and i'll show you how you can integrate it into your um script in your game so yeah um so the public bool money when this is ticked on um you're gonna get money added when you pick up the object so the public int add money amount it's the amount of money that you're gonna get a currency money script this is where we keep the reference to the game controller the global variable that keeps track of the gold that we have over here um, the public bool item all right I said that sorry and in the star function I just say that the animator is game object I'll find with tag player now get component animator so when for this to work we're gonna we're basically getting the component of the we're gonna get the component of our player um, just uh, when you're, you have your player in the scene make sure he's tagged player and if you're using the third person controller one uh, that I've used in the beginning of this series I hope you're following it through you can do most of these, th these things by yourself on your own um, if you're not following the whole series but it's gonna be much easier if you are because you can see you can copy me basically but it basically searches for searches for a game object that's tagged player and it hand gets its animator components so we can mess around with it. The money script does the exact same, but it finds a um, thing that has uh, a game object that's tagged game controller and it gets the currency component of it. We're gonna do that later. I'm just gonna explain the script now. So 
here we have a void on trigger stay collider player this basically um, this part is basically when you're in the trigger and if the thing that's in the trigger is tagged player it's gonna do these things if it's not it's not gonna detect collision I mean it's not gonna like continue the script um, why I'm not using on trigger enter is because on trigger enter is used um, when you want to trigger something by like with one frame the way you're entering the trigger because here we're gonna want the the um, to be able to pick the object up when we're in the range of the trigger all of the time because on trigger enter only detects collision the frame that you've entered the trigger but we want it to to, to like to, to, to detect collision sorry all the time while we're in the trigger so if we're in the trigger we're gonna check if the money bool is true uh, money this just stands for money equals true so it will be the same if I type to money to um, equal signs like over here and then true input dot get button down um, Kiko dot e so when we click the e button we're gonna start a quarantine same goes for the item one and the quarantine does this uh, basically um, we have a e enumerator which is called play animation so anim dot set trigger pickup yield return new wait for second so this uh, what this does is it sets a trigger on our animator that's gonna uh, start playing the pickup animation and it's gonna wait one seconds until we crouch down and when our hand is on the money and when it starts going back that's uh, when it's gonna when the money is gonna disappear you can change this value around if it's um, not suitable for you. You'll know what I, if you don't understand me right now. You're gonna you're gonna understand me later when I do everything when I show you how you set it up. So um, after that happens, we check if the thing that we picked up is money. We get money script dot gold. So we reference the money script dot gold public integer, and we add the money amount. And after that, we destroy the game object so we can't pick it up again. Else, if item, we're gonna pick up an object or add it to our inventory. This is gonna be um, um, uh, made later. I haven't made an inventory system or anything, so I'm gonna wait until I make an inventory system. Then I'm gonna come back to this. I'm gonna revisit the script and update it and uh, make a tutorial for you guys. So that's pretty much the script. Now, how you set it up is let's go from the start. Uh, we need a um, first we need the animator so if you're using the third person uh, controller one that unity standard assets provided us uh, just uh, click on the click on your character and go to the animator window if you don't have this click window animator or uh, here it is now you're gonna be presented with this now these are just the blend trees and everything that makes your character walk around this has been done by unity now we need to add our pickup animation. So if you downloaded the huge mocap library that I shown you in the previous video, I think um, you, you're gonna have a pickup animation over here. It's a pretty bad one, so I recommend you finding a different one. But um, for the sake of just showing you how you do it, I'm just gonna use this one. So let me just find it. I'll open this one. I'll click CTRLF, and I'm gonna pick up. So let's see. Um, let's go from the first one. Here it is. So 26.9. Let's go to this one. So here it is. Um, I have done. I have. Uh, because we do not want this animation to see, as you can see, it goes here. He bends down, he picks it up, and he goes up. Now, that's not the whole animation. Uh, the whole animation is this. And as you can see, there's a lot of. Um, unneeded things over here for example he picked it up and then he's standing around we do not need that at all so by you can make the animation go you can uh, cut the animation by just dragging the timeline or these two things so let's see so he picks it up over here and now he's going back up so the second goes back up yeah this is okay we do not want it to loop I'm gonna route the transform position Y so he's not really janky as much as you can see he's kind of janky over here I do not like that so just tick this so now we're gonna open it up we're gonna get the animation we're gonna put it here it's gonna ask you if you want to apply these things the changes that you made just click apply 
So now in order, in order for us to play it, I'm just going to change the name so we know what we're doing. So we know what this is for. Um, so it, to, in order for us to play this animation, we're going to want, we're going to only want to play this animation when we're standing up. We're not going to be able to jump to like crouch down and pick it up if we're already crouching or jumping. So we're just going to make a transition from the grounded part. You can also make one from the crouching part if you want, but I'll just put it from the grounding one. So make a transition to there and make one back. So when we pick it up, we can go back to our idle and walking around, etc. Now over here we have a, um, let's call this up. So over here we have a trigger pickup. So in order for us to play the animation, we set a trigger that's called pickup. So we have to make one. Uh, over here, we're in, we're in the base layer of all, all the time. It has IK on it. Just click uh, parameters, click the plus icon, and add a trigger. Call it pickup because that's how we've uh, called it in our script over here. After you did that, click on one of the transitions, the one that goes from grounded to pickup. Add the um, pickup condition. So now, um, because uh, as you can see, when we click E and when we're gonna st when we start playing the animation, it's gonna start playing the grounded, the idle one, or the running one, or, or whatever we're doing. So we're gonna have to wait an extra second and a half until we start picking it up. But we do not want that. So I'm just gonna take off has exit time and ha uh, take off the fixed duration, and I'm just gonna put it over here. I'll put this so there is a bit of blending, I guess. So. I'll put the like the least amount of blending possible. So let's see how this looks. So basically, that's too much. Let's maybe uh, put it over here, I guess. All right, you can play around with that. Now, as you can see, this this there's this weird leg spasm that's going on. We can fix this a bit by making it foot IK. And if you notice, the animation is a bit slow, so I'm just gonna change it to 2.2. So now, as you can see, it's much better. It's quick, it's uh, efficient, and uh, it's exactly what we need. Now, for the transition back, we're just gonna, he's, so he's gonna pick it up and uh, I guess this is okay, so you can leave this as it is. You can change it around if you want, but I'm just, I'm not gonna do it. So we got that part down. Now we need to make a empty um, game object. We're gonna call it event system or game controller, whatever. The important thing to do is, um, I just set the position to zero everywhere. And the important thing to do is a tag it game controller. If you do not have this tag, you just click add tag, cl make, click the plus icon and call it exactly like I called it over here and in the script. Oh, let me see it uh, in the script where it is uh, game controller. So make sure the name is exactly like this. And you go ahead and the currency script, you can uh, get it on my GitHub page or um, the adventure game tutorial series, that page and the one that I use for my standalone tutorials. So in this uh, currency script, we have a, um, we're actually using the Unity UI and um, the text um, UI part and actually changing the text to the number of uh, gold we have. So we're going to have to create some UI in order for us to see how much gold we have. So go on game object UI and create some text. Uh, now double click on it, click F and click 2D. You can zoom out. So this is how our screen looks like. Uh, you can place the text anywhere. I'm just going to keep it over here. I'm going to make it a bit bigger. For example, like this. I'll change the font size to 25 or like, no, I'll change to like 46. I'll change the alignment to this one, make it be in the middle. And for example, put like 5 or 15. So 5, maybe make it a bit bigger if we have a lot of money. Change. I'm just going to change the color to like a yellowish one for gold. Um, I'm just, this is not looking really pretty. Um, I'm not going to make it look pretty because this is just for showing it off. You guys can make it look pretty by like adding more um, like textures like behind, making a whole like UI system. I'm not going to do that. 
I could give I could make a separate tutorial on doing that just making things look pretty like I did in my for example the Naruto tutorial the tutorials where I have um, have the Naruto layout you can see the UI looks really pretty and I've um, especially made it look pretty over there because I wanted you guys to see how good you can make it look it, it takes a while so it's harder to do a tutorial for that because it takes a lot of testing and um, making it look pretty so it's basically just the amount it's gonna look good um, it's gonna be proportional the looking good part of it to how much time you have to work on it um, so once you made this I'm just gonna change the alignment to, to the anchor points to the down one so it doesn't go looking weird when you change the resolution in any way and I'm also going to change the name to currency because the name has to be currency because in the script um, uh, we find a game object that's called currency so if it's not called currency it's not going to find an object and you're going to get an error so after that's done all that's left is um, making the actual money so we can pick it up so now I have this money bag thing you have all of the these models, uh, for not this one, I've downloaded this one off the asset store, but these players, these buildings, etc. You can download all of them from um, the starter pack project assets thing that I have in the description. It's a media fire download, it takes really quickly. If you want all of the models that I showcased in the first part of this series, you're going to have to donate and contact me on Skype, leave a message, etc. So I'm just going to add the money bag over here. Um, now. You can see the money bag has rigid body. We do not need that because the money bag is going to go where, and when we kick it, it's going to like go away from us and it's going to make a problem for us to pick it up. So I'm just going to destroy the rigid body. I'm going to add a sphere collider. This is going to be the trigger that uh, triggers the text if we're in the range to pick it up. So I'll change the radius to, for example, 85. How about nine? Yeah, nine is okay. And uh, I'll, I'll set it to a trigger. And that's pretty much good. All that's left to do is add the pickup script, uh, make it money, and add the money amount, for example, five. So I think we've done everything. So let's see if it works. We do not get any errors, which is nice. So when we walk up to the money, we click E, the money disappears, and we get five gold. So everything works as it's supposed to. Um, it's a pretty cool neat little system. You can make as much as these as you want. Um, we're gonna add like um, For example um, Items and things that you can pick up for quests and things for example armor pieces hair pieces items weapons etc that you can add on your character uh, But not right now. I want to complete the inventory system first. So it works on multiple ones Also, so you can make as much as you want um, I clicked the two times. So that's why it got bugged So as, that's it. And uh, yeah, so that's how you pick up money. It's um, pretty good. Everything works as it's supposed to. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Tell me in the comments if you have been following the series from the start. I really recommend you do. And uh, because I explain everything as we go on and do everything as I go on, leave me recommendations on how I could improve my series. and make it for example better for you guys and uh, do it in a way that you guys can understand but I take time with all these videos I try to explain everything as much as I can and I even give you all the scripts and all the assets so you guys can follow through and uh, make a working game so yeah I hope you guys enjoyed this video tell me in the comments if you liked it or not leave a like and subscribe for future content see you next time bye